So now we're going to measure out other oils and dump them in here. Uh, so we're going to start with the lemon oil. And we need one milliliter of, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're working on a test batch. We need 0.1 milliliters of the, uh, the open cola, uh, excuse me, of the, uh, the lemon oil. Let me uh, see if I can zoom in here anymore. Okay, now we're zoomed in nice and tight. Um, so, 0.1 milliliter on the uh, pipette. So, um, well, let me back this off just a bit so you can uh, see the methodology here. So I just suck it up and then uh, hold my finger on the top and uh, that'll get you a nice uh, sizing. Uh, and then I drip out what I don't need. Uh, so I'm going to drip down to the point 0.1 here. And there's point 0.1 milliliters right there into the glass. And then it doesn't come out all the way, blow, out, blow it out. And then blow as much as you can out because it's very potent, very potent stuff. The more you can get in the glass, uh, the better. Uh, because you don't want it sticking here because it'll just go to waste. <clears throat> then I suck up a little bit of clean water. Do that a couple times, try to get as much out as you can. And then uh, wipe out the uh, excess on your paper towel. So, that is the lemon. Let's go with the orange. This time I'm going to uh, zoom it in again. So you, you can see this uh, process up closer. So here's our orange oil. And now the orange oil is actually almost enough that we can just, oops, I just got some liquid here. Let me get all the liquid out of my pipette. Okay, and uh, it's almost enough that we can just put our finger in there. We don't have to suck anything up, hold it on there, and then, oh, that's perfect right there. That's a, that's a milliliter. So, into the glass, blow it out, and clean. There we go. All right. So, we continue with the next ones. And it's pretty much point 0.1 of all the uh, major flavor components. So now we go to point 0.1 grapefruit. And grapefruit is uh, quite large, so we're just going to dip it in there. Bloop. Pull it out. And then there's point 0.1. I don't know if you can see that or not. Right there, point 0.1. Into the glass. Blow it out. Clean. Onto the lime. And again, lime is a relatively new one, so we don't have to do much here. It's point one into the glass. Blow it out, clean. Now, if you're doing this on a larger scale, you might even consider having a separate pipette for every oil, uh, because this still has a lot of the oils on it. I mean, the essential oils are very, very strong. I mean, I, I can't stress that enough, how strong they actually are. This, you can barely see the amount of liquid in here. This is enough to flavor two liters of pop. So, um, when you move the, your pipette between the different oils, you start getting contamination between them all. Uh, but we just do such small scale that it doesn't really affect our flavors that much, uh, but uh, if you're really concerned, uh, you could use a different pipette for each flavor, have it marked or something. Now, the cinnamon oil is extremely strong. Uh, if you like a very hot, cinnamony type of flavor, um, you can use uh, a lot of this. I do not. Uh, I don't even like putting it in there, but if it's not there, people miss, seem to miss it. Um, <laughs> this is very hard to measure out. All I use is a drop. Just get get a small quantity in there and then just let it drop in there just so you have a little tiny drop in there. Come on, drop. There we go. Just a drop. And then the rest of it we gotta put back. Careful when you if you blow into the oil, 
because it can just, that's how I got cinnamon on myself yesterday, is I blew the excess into the cinnamon and it spurted up on my lips, and I tasted cinnamon all day long, even when I was eating my pizza last night. Uh, clean the pipe up for the final time. And that is it, that is your favorite oil components. That is all the flavor notes that we have in our open cola. Uh, now, I forget to mention earlier uh, about the essential oils. Um, these are, uh, you have to use essential oils. Uh, you can find some other stuff that is like uh, 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 fragrance oils or something like that. Sometimes they don't have 100% essential oils. If you, if you ever see 100% pure essential oils, it's okay to use. Uh, they still use some of those flavors, uh, some of those oils in, in aromatics. But what we have found is the best place to go is to go to uh, Loran Oils. Uh, that's L-O-R-A-N-N -N Oils. Um, they sell uh, oils for candy and they have a very large list of oils that they sell um, and pretty much everything we want is on their list. Um, I happen to be fortunate enough to have the Loran Oils company um, only 40 minutes from here uh, so I can drive up there anytime I want and uh, pick them up. Uh, there's a couple other places in the area uh, that uh, will, uh, will order larger quantities for us. Uh, usually you can find it at uh, cake and candy supply stores uh, or you can just order it off their website. Uh, let me show you, this is a, a book I got from uh, Lorraine Oils last time I was up there. Uh, a lot of nice little stuff uh, but you're not going to be able to read off this list. I just want to show you how many oils they actually have. That's how many oils they have. That's how many <laughs> different varieties of soda you can make. Um, once you master the techniques, it's up to you what you want to make. And uh, we're just starting with cola here. Um, the recipes we've invented have uh, been put up on opensoda.org. Um, if you make something that you think is good, share it with us. We'll, we'll put it up on the site. And... Uh, that's the whole point, is uh, to keep this open. Uh, so now that we have our uh, little uh, flavor notes, uh, and you can probably barely see this, uh, just not a drop in the bucket. This is, um, this is not even a milliliter worth of, of fluid. Uh, we have uh, point, let's see, four, just, just over 0.4 milliliters. Not even half a milliliter is what takes to flavor a two liter of cola. Now, um, oils, do not mix with water very well. The, uh, the way that you get the oil to suspend in the water is through an emulsion. Uh, we use gum arabic and that's what they've used in cola for years uh, to suspend the oils in the water. Uh, and uh, you have to, uh, to, have to use uh, uh, the right amount of gum arabic, the right kind of gum arabic, and it can be tricky to create an emulsion. Um, we were fortunate enough to have the right research uh, at the right time to get the right uh, gum arabic. Uh, we will show you this uh, step in just a moment. 